he was a left-handed power pitcher who had a, a devastating curveball. John Donaldson used his left arm to fulfill his boyhood dream of traveling the world. A native of Glasgow, Missouri, Donaldson had a natural talent for baseball. In a period of segregation in the major leagues and years before the inception of the Negro Leagues, there was limited opportunity to play professionally. In 1911, he played for the Tennessee Rats. One year later, he was signed by the All Nations Traveling Ball Club. The All Nations team traveled all throughout the upper Midwest, and Donaldson was their star. In the 19-teens, John Donaldson was known as the world's greatest colored pitcher. He went from town to town and was billed as that, so they, local towns would put their best athletes out there and even hire outside talent to try and knock off the greatest pitcher in the world. It's an interesting time period to look at how people related to one another in terms of news. They didn't have radio and they didn't have uh, the TV, obviously, that we have now. In order for John Donaldson to become famous, it was a word of mouth and an and a action. He had to show every week that he was a star and, and then word spread. Donaldson was so dominant, famed New York Giant manager John McGraw said, I think he is the greatest I've ever seen, and I would give $50,000 for him if it weren't for the color line in baseball. People knew who he was. People would come out, therefore, to the games to watch him play. So there was a buzz and a hype about him, and the significant part about John Donaldson's career was he backed up that hype. John Donaldson has a substantiated total of 25 20 strikeout games. That's what we know so far. Um, he has a 30 strikeout game in Sioux Falls. He has a 28 strikeout game in Omaha. In 1913, it's commonly known that he had three consecutive no hitters. In 1920, Rube Foster started the Negro Leagues, and Donaldson played three years before returning to Minnesota and an opportunity to make more money pitching semi pro ball in the small town of Bertha. In 1924, the way to look at John Donaldson was he made $1,478 from the Bertha franchise, which was more money than the rest of his teammates and every team they played against combined. So he was the star, he was the man. He spent five years playing in Minnesota, primarily with Bertha, a popular man during a time of extreme racism. People would look past their normal bigotries and racism to see the game of baseball. It was the number one sport. It's what people did on Sundays. They would go out. It was the social event of the week. After the 1920s terrible lynchings of the three circus workers in Duluth, a mere three years later to the day, John Donaldson uh, defeated a team of range all, Iron Range All-Stars in Duluth. So he was going against the tide and coming into Duluth when blacks were leaving this part of the country because of fear. Charles Lindbergh was the symbol of the Roaring Twenties. In 1927, he became a national hero when he flew the Spirit of St. Louis from New York to Paris for the first ever transatlantic flight. In his hometown of Little Falls, there was a welcome home party for Charles that August, an event that drew over 50,000 people. And one of the highlights was a baseball game featuring John Donaldson. As a part of the Victory Tour celebration was a baseball game. And in that game, a, a team called the House of David, which was very popular in the Midwest, um, were pitted against the Bertha Fishermen. And the person who started that game was John Donaldson. Very significant that when there was going to be a huge crowd come out, that they would turn to a black face to run the baseball game. During the Depression, Donaldson returned to barnstorming and his former team, the famed Kansas City Monarchs. Past his prime, he became a mentor for a young, up-and-coming star, Satchel Paige. A lot of the uh, legendary things that Satchel Paige did were actually done by John Donaldson years before, and it's documented. Satchel Paige, being the great player that he was, left a huge wake. People don't even realize that there was great baseball players before him, and John Donaldson did the same types of things with, a much, with much less of uh, tools to be able to do that. John Donaldson was a performer, a survivor, an opportunist, and a hero. There's a modern viewpoint that we've heard this story before. Poor black baseball player who couldn't play in the league um, had all the strikes against him. John Donaldson isn't that story. John Donaldson was famous, John Donaldson was well paid, and he was a celebrity in times before celebrity was very popular.